ready to geek out. Hey everyone, it's Eric here with Weather for Weather Geeks. Wednesday evening, the 27th day of July, and it was a steamy day today. As expected, the dew points really became a story after a two-day stretch where we had some pretty comfortable dew points uh, today. Anything but comfortable, especially during the second half of the uh, day. The dew points rose from around 60 into the lower 70s, kind of a uh, central or southern Florida air mass overhead out there this evening. And yeah, compared to 24 hours ago, of course, it is a big change. 24 hours ago, we had dew points in the upper 50s, but as of 7.03 p.m. on this Wednesday, uh, it is 14 degrees warmer, at least higher, I should say, as far as the uh, dew point goes compared to this same time on Tuesday. Now, we did have some showers and some sto uh, storms that impacted parts of our area during mid-afternoon, and at the airport, we registered 0.19. Now, we've had measurable precipitation now uh, quick math here. Is it something like 10 of the last 12 days um, at the airport? So we're doing a little bit better than we did earlier in the summer. Still in a deficit for the month of July. Some of these heavier rain episodes have missed uh, Vienna, where the airport is, of course, in Trumbull County. So we uh, have not registered as high of totals as we have in, uh, in other parts of the area over the last couple of weeks. So we're still running a deficit of two-thirds of an inch for July, but we're up over three inches now for the month at the Youngstown Warren Airport. A few rain gauges did register a tenth of an inch, even up to a quarter of an inch or so, especially from uh, Cortland and Southington on north up towards Bloomfield, Mesopotamia, northern end of Mosquito Lake. Um, did have uh, some downpours over towards Greenville and Mercer County. We did have a couple of downpours this afternoon, and that certainly did uh, help things out, uh, continues to help things out after, again, a pretty dry stretch of weather earlier this summer. Because of the dry stretch we had earlier in the summer, when we look at the groundwater drought indicator here from NASA, uh, you still see a lot of reds and yellows across western PA, eastern Ohio. Now, we're not in a severe drought like they are out here where you see all this deep red. Um, but yes, we still could use some rain, even though things are looking greener and better than they did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think we're heading back into a drier pattern, though, uh, for the very end of July and the first part of August next week. As of this recording, a little after 7 o'clock after a break, uh, we are starting to see a reemergence of spotty showers across the area. No lightning as of, uh, what is it, uh, 7.05? Uh, there could be a rumble of thunder, a bolt of lightning here and there as we go through the evening. Uh, our uh, high-res futurecast is kind of overdoing the coverage of our showers this evening a little bit. But the overall idea, I think, is right for tonight. A lot of dry time, but occasionally a shower is going to pass through, maybe a thunderstorm, most of this occurring before 1 or 2 in the morning. Although a passing shower, something we can't rule out as Thursday gets underway. Otherwise, a muggy day Thursday, like today, it'll also be warmer. It'll be sunnier in the afternoon than it was today. A pretty cloudy day overall today. I think the sun will break out as we get into the second half of the day on Thursday, sending temperatures into the mid-80s as this cool front slowly but surely makes its way in tomorrow night. There could be a shower, perhaps even a thunderstorm in the middle of the night, but we'll notice the impacts of this front by Friday afternoon. It's not going to be nearly as muggy. In fact, dew points will drop from the upper 60s to around 70, down into the middle and upper 50s by the end of the afternoon Friday. It should be a beautiful summer evening. Friday evening to maybe get dinner outdoors or do just anything involving getting some fresh air after a few muggy days in a row. That'll feel really nice Friday evening and us high pressure builds in. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic weekend with plenty of sunshine. Dew points will be a non-story this weekend. Anytime in the summer season we have dew points below 60, that's a thumbs up. That's a bargain. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the summer with dew points in the 60s, so we like to see 50s on a graphic like this. Enjoy it through Monday. I think muggy air will return midweek, and this will start a pretty hot stretch, I think, for the middle and latter portions of next week. Now, this is one run of one model, but I just want to show you what may be on the table for next week. The hottest day is maybe at the end of the week, Thursday and into Friday. Here's a look at what I'm showing you here is the European model, this afternoon's run. Temperature forecast next Thursday afternoon. Now, don't take these numbers literally. They are very likely too high by some degree, but on the, you know, the range of possibilities, this is towards the top end. We can't rule out some numbers like this. Um, more than likely, we're in the lower 90s, but I can't rule out at this point something like a 95 or 96 at the tail end of next week. And some triple digit heat, can't rule that out off to our west. Detroit, Indianapolis, maybe down to Cincinnati, certainly Chicago could see some triple digit heat next week at Des Moines, up towards Minneapolis. The upper Midwest will be kind of the epicenter of this heat wave next week into next weekend. We'll be more on the fringes, but still, some of the hottest weather of the summer will be a possibility. 94 has been our high, uh, high water mark, if you will, so far this summer season. We could flirt with that, certainly, 
um, next Thursday and Friday, especially we might see somewhat, somewhat uh, cooler air uh, at some point during that first weekend of August. The heat might actually peak just before the weekend, but of course we'll iron out the details as we get a little bit closer to next week, that first week of August. Yeah, the air conditioners will be busy, so will the pools. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. I always appreciate you checking these videos out, and I'll see you right back here on Thursday.